What's up guys, Matt Ogus, legendsofaesthetics.com. I'm gonna walk you through a full day of mine. Wake up in the morning about 10 a.m. I actually got straight out of bed. Uh, I don't feel super good, to be honest. I actually have a slight headache, but eh. First thing in the morning, feed my buddy Max. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Get down here. So I'm gonna feed him. Also, first thing in the morning, and this is funny, because uh, today especially this will help. First thing in the morning, I usually start sipping on some Gatorade, oddly enough, right there. So I've been sipping on this a little bit, and uh, my own experience, sometimes I have a headache. So I'll just, you know, drink a lot of water, but also sip a little Gatorade, and I feel like it helps me. So I feed Max in the morning. He has his food with a little bit of water. We call it his soup. That's how we feed him. And uh, Brianna came over last night with some... Some pan... You want some pancake? You want some pancake? So we're going to give him a little bit of pancake. There's a pancake for you. Mmm, pancake. Alright, here at the gym, CalFit, meeting up with Brandon. Squat day. Okay guys, super stoked to voice over the squat video. Despite having the world's noisiest Hodge Twins chair, um, I'm, where I'm using this chair right now specifically uh, just because it keeps me pretty damn upright compared to my other chairs. And I've been trying to take care of my left erector issue, remember guys? Which was another reason why I wasn't too sure how this workout would go. Um, squats were what I had to skip last week because my left erector, uh, just my spine in general, especially that left erector, just didn't feel like it could take weight. So last week when I was supposed to do this workout, I actually had to go and do uh, like leg press and all these other things instead just because that I wasn't, I just couldn't back squat. So combine that with that kind of slight headache, I woke up in the morning, wasn't too sure how things were going to go today. And, uh, but, you know, I'm here training with my boy, Brandon. Uh, he came down 30 minutes just to train with me. And uh, definitely appreciate that, bro. Uh, I also wanted to, to show him this gym, give him an idea of why I like it so much. This is his first time here. I like it a lot. Uh, for some reason, I'm just seriously able to PR, like, every single time I attempt to. Uh, more often than not, on my attempts to PR, I PR. Uh, when my current track record at Gold's Gym, like I've hit PRs there, but I've also been having some issues. Like my left shoulder issue was created there, my left erector issue was created there, and I kind of wanted to uh, stick to a gym where I'm much uh, safer, it seems. All superstition, to be honest, but I really just enjoy training at this gym. It's kind of funny, uh, some homies, uh, some uh, old, a little bit older gentlemen, were uh, squatting in a couple racks down from us. And they were, uh, they were giving us all kinds of support based on, you know, like how heavy we were squatting and, and the depth. So I'll let you listen to what he's saying right now. Man, man, that was proper decent. Proper decent. Proper decent. Thanks. We killed it, man. Killed it. Thanks. Are you guys the same way? There's certain gyms that you just really enjoy training at just based on perhaps how the bars feel or your prior history at that gym. Um, I really like this gym, it's super close to my house. Uh, every time I bench press attempt PRs here, I always hit them it seems. And uh, my squats, they actually got a new squat bar, the one I'm using right now, and it is incredible, I love it. Uh, if I can just uh, get away with deadlifting here, because uh, f three or four months ago I got stopped. Um, if I can get away with deadlifting, which I think I can now, Perhaps, um, I always use the damn mats anyway. I, I think uh, this will be 10 out of 10 gym would smash. So we'll see how that goes. I dropped the weight back down to 365 for 10 after that first uh, 375 for 10. So just with those two lifts, I was pretty damn satisfied with how it went. Um, I normally drop my weights more than 10 pounds. So uh, the fact I dropped from 375 to 365 just showed me that, well, I did that because that 375 felt pretty damn easy. So Brandon hit a new PR today of like 365 for, uh, wait, excuse me, 3, uh, 315, 355. I think he hit 355 for a, um, a new one rep PR on his uh, low bar squat. And then he hit 320 for a triple. And uh, I, th I'm not, I think he might have done another triple after that. Not too sure. But uh, after my uh, 10 rep sets, I only did two, 
I went and did, uh, I think, three sets. Yeah, yeah, I believe two or three. Yeah, three sets of five. Wait, maybe two. I'm not sure. I think I did two sets of five pause squats that you can see right here. The reason I did two is because uh, after the second one, uh, I asked Brandon, like, I'm like, shit, should I go for another one? And I asked myself, should I go for another one? And I kind of weighed things out. I was like, uh, coming from an intelligent viewpoint of, say, perhaps, like, I don't know, a coach, um, they'd probably look at the client and be like, what's smarter for you to do, for you to do based on your, your, your most recent, like, injury? Not, not quite an injury, but your, your strain to your left director. Is it better to hold back a little bit, or would it be smarter to go really close to 100%? And I told myself, well, you know, it's probably smarter for me to leave more in the tank than um, try to uh, take everything out of the tank. So that's why I only did two sets of these pause. That was my rationale for just doing two sets of pause squats rather than three. And I think it was a smart decision. Because uh, uh, after, the, after the first set of pause squats, uh, I could start to feel the left director just a little bit. After the second pause, set of pause squats, I felt it a little bit more. And... Um, after that, I did some decently light uh, stiff leg deadlifts, 225 for sets of, I think, 8. I normally have been doing like 265 for sets of 10. So it's kind of like a, a reset in terms of this. And uh, that's because of that left erector thing. And for those, uh, if you go back through my videos, it was from um, some heavy squats that I was doing. And on the fourth rep of like attempt of five, I think I was doing four. Uh, 20 or 425 going for five and I hit four and uh, man my left director just uh, felt like it really it wasn't super bad but I feel like I slightly uh, pulled it just a little bit it's funny because I think two or three weeks later I squatted a, a, a heavy PR of 420 for five so I actually got the weight I was going for and it didn't actually come back until I um, I did that uh, conventional session of 365 conventional deadlifts followed by four sets of uh, four or five by three or four or five sets of three, five sets of uh, or four sets of double pause sumo deadlift. Only on the last set. The last set kind of set it off again. And from there, I've been having this weird kind of pain in my left director ever since. So, and it's kind of died down to be honest. All right, we had an excellent workout. That was surprisingly great feeling. Um, even with like I, I started the workout started the day with a slight headache it actually went away completely and I really don't feel it unless I like, violently shake my head um, my erector issue my left erector uh, it popped up at certain times during the workout but I was able to kind of like just uh, not work past it but keep my form in such a way that it didn't it wasn't too too much of an issue and I hit I, I hit some like not necessarily PRs of all time, but like PRs based on my progression. And uh, B's doing a mini cut right now and weighing out that there barbecue sauce. Basically doing shit that we would never do um, in a muscle gaining phase. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. But honestly, it's not too, not too complicated. What do you do? Just do one serving? Split into four? Yeah, one serving was like... 37 grams. Oh. One serving was 37 carbs? The, no, one serving, one serving is 18 carbs, oh, okay. but it's 37 grams. Okay, so you just do one serving. So I'm doing and like nine per Oh, I have spinach too. And then what he's going to do is kind of shred a piece of breast for each sandwich. This looks like it's probably like a six to eight ounce breast. Yeah. So it's quite a bit of fucking chicken. That's huge. That's what I'm talking about. And then, yeah. You have more napkins, right? Like, I'm not going to take them all. All right, guys, here with Mystery Girl. And I am at John's Incredible Pizza. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Whoa.
Oh, his cake. Yeah!